All right. I'm cashing in my cans today. Now, all the little ones, all the little bags that you saw me throw in at the end, uh, like Publix or King Super or Kroger bag, little grocery bag, took me about six months to get those together. There may be maybe six of them, seven of them. It took about six months to get those little shopping bags full. It was something that if I had a can, I'd, throw, I'd crush it and throw it in there. I've always saved cans. It's something my grandfather got me started saving on cans. I should say he got me started saving cans. When I was probably six, seven years old, that's what he would do. He would take me around town. I'd pick up the cans. And back in those days, there used to be big giant machines out in the parking lots of grocery stores. And I would take my bags in and I would dump them in the machine. I would hit the button and it would start grumbling and rumbling. And it would eat up all the cans and it would spit out a dollar and six cents. And for a six year old, that's four pieces of candy or whatever it was, but it was my money. My grandpa got me started on that habit. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't ever see myself stopping. I could have a million dollars in the bank. I really don't see myself giving up that habit. I find it cathartic. So, about, it took me about six months to get those five or six tiny little grocery store bags. When I started putting together the plans for this bicycle ride, it became apparent quickly that I was gonna need to get creative when I was trying to gather funds for this. This is a self-funded ride. I didn't take donations for the ride, no GoFundMe, no bag packing, anything like that. You know, I, I just, I can't bring myself to, I can certainly bring myself to raise funds for my cause, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, Night to Shine from the Tim Tebow Foundation, the, uh, the prom night for people with special needs. I'm gonna be raising money for that. But as far as the ride, I couldn't raise funds for that. I, I just can't expect people to pay for my vacation. So at any, in any event. And then about six months ago, I needed to get serious. So I found a roll of the big bags, the big 55 gallon bags. I said, I'm gonna try to fill a couple of these things before I go. And then I really got serious. Every time I walked through a parking lot, anytime I tripped over a can, I picked it up, threw it in the car, brought it home, crushed it, threw it in the bag. Uh, if I was taking a recovery day on my bicycle, like, I, I don't want to pedal that far. I don't want to pedal that fast. I don't want to pedal that hard. I just want to recover, wind down my legs. I would take an empty backpack that I bought, I think at the Goodwill, for like a dollar, and I would just go around to all the local parks and I would fill it with, you know, a couple of pounds of cans, bring them home, toss them in the uh, big black bags. Well, now I've got four 55 gallon bags full and I did that in six months. Okay, so a little, uh, a little referendum there on what you can do if you put your mind to it. All right, it took me six months to fill six little grocery store bags. It took me another six months to fill four 55 gallon bags. So I'm gonna go cash them in. Uh, I've got an envelope full of cash. I've been putting tips and change and stuff like anything, any odds and ends money, I've been shoving in an envelope, a dollar here, three dollars here, five dollars there. I suspect this should be somewhere around 80, 75, 80 dollars. I'm gonna shove that in the envelope. But it would seem before I do anything, I'm gonna have to put a little bit of gas in the blazer. Uh, <laughs> didn't realize that, I'm on vapor. See, I get a receipt. I don't have a lot of money, but I'm very good with the money that I do have. So it makes it seem like I have a lot of money. I don't spend it frivolously and I keep meticulous track of it. missed one. Everything matters. My goodness. Sorry about that. Okay, so it appears
appears I'm gonna need another bend. Yeah, it's like a bad shopping cart. Alright, well, that was, a, that was a little disappointing. It was only $60. They were only paying $0.38 cents a pound. I thought it was closer to $50. So... Alright guys, the can, the recycling adventure is over. Now, I understand that there's <laughs> watching somebody recycle cans is not that exciting. I, I tried to edit it down to as little, it was a, it's like a two hour process, so I tried to edit it down to as little as I can. But it wasn't just about recycling cans. I want to make a point, okay? All of this has been leading up to this point. I, like I said, I mentioned earlier in the video, it, it was necessary for me to get creative to try to fund this ride. I, I left no stone unturned. I was very careful what I spent. I was very careful what I saved. Um, I was very precise about how much money I needed and how I went about getting it. The ultimate point here is this. I mentioned earlier that when you're doing something like this, and, and to be honest with you, in life in general, everything matters. If you've watched any of my videos before, which I know most of you haven't, you've heard me say this time and time again. Everything matters. That minute that just passed, it mattered. This minute that I'm in, it matters. The next minute matters. Every dollar you spend, every dollar you don't spend, everything you do, everything you don't do, it all matters. So I'm going to show you something. And before I do, I want to preface it by saying this. I am not about, I'm not bragging. And I, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that by telling you, I'm, not, I'm going to show you some money. And the reason I want you to understand that I'm not bragging is this, or excuse me, what I should say is, the, reason, the way I'm going to prove to you that I'm not bragging is this. I made $30,000 last year. That's it. That was all my work put together am amounted to about 30, maybe 33000 so I would be almost willing to bet all 33,000 of that, that everybody who's watching this video made significantly more than that. God bless you. I hope you made more than that. Okay, so I'm not bragging. Somebody who made $33,000 does not go online and brag about $33,000. All right, there's just no sense in that. What I want to show you is a little bit of proof that what I say, what I said, everything matters, is true. So I'm going to show you this. What I'm about to show you, this cash here, this is just, and here's the, uh, here's the money from the cans. I'm going to add that. This is tiny micro steps. This is pulling, this is having $12 in my wallet and taking the two singles out and putting them in an envelope. This is getting $13 back in change keeping the 10 and putting $3 in an envelope. This is making $8 in cash tips delivering Uber and bringing home the $8, keeping four for myself and putting four in an envelope. I mean, these are micro steps at best. But again, what I want to do is examine it in aggregate. Oh, it doesn't sound like much. $3 here, $4 there. Oh, I got an extra dollar. I've got $21 in my wallet. I think I'll take the dollar and put it in an envelope. Micro steps. Doesn't seem like much. The kind of things that most of us overlook. But in aggregate, at the end of eight months, oh my goodness, at the end of eight months, it looks more like this, okay? Now, granted, three hundred dollars of that is one, but another hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty is you know that's real money. This added up to about four hundred and twenty dollars. All right, and again, 
nothing to brag about. I didn't just show you. I did. I didn't just show you three stacks of high society. There's not thirty thousand dollars there. It's about four hundred bucks. But it was the tiniest micro steps. It was the most attention to detail. Every extra dollar added up to that. And that's all going for the ride, okay? That wasn't anything that came out of paycheck. This wasn't anything I had to go get a loan for. This is a guy who makes 30, I want to say 33, but if it's if I'm wrong, it's less. Just putting a little attention to detail, throwing a couple dollars here, a couple dollars there, into an envelope, it added up to 420. But I want to show you something. Wait, right there. Then there's this. Let me tilt this in here. I don't know if you're getting a look at that or not. It's just a box of change. All right, now this took even, oh, let me move this out of the way. That took even less time. That is simply the loose change that drives you nuts in your pocket. Okay? Does that, you know, it just, it, it sits in ashtrays and it sits in cups and it sits in your car. All I did was what you saw earlier. I just put one bottle and dedicated it all to one spot. That's $350 and change. It took a month <laughs> on and off to roll that. That's $350. You take that with this and you know what? I was wrong. This is a thousand. Now that I'm adding that extra 60 bucks, this just went over a thousand. This isn't 450, 500 dollars. This is a thousand dollars. That's 350 dollars. So about 1350 dollars. That's literally going to pay for the ride itself. Now I had to go to other extremes to set aside the money to pay the bills while I'm gone. But that 1350, 1400, that's going to pay for my ride. And it all came from soda cans loose dollar bills and handfuls of change over about an eight to ten month period all right soda cans don't amount to anything loose handfuls of change don't amount to anything single dollar bills four or five times a week don't seem to amount to anything like i said earlier though in aggregate that's what it adds up to all the stuff that most you don't pay attention to eight months down the road ten years down the road five years 15, whatever, however many years down the road, all those little things that you do add up to something. All of those little things that you don't do add up to something. Okay? So I wanted to show you that. That's where I'm at. Again, a guy who makes $30,000 a year and has a big stack of $1 bills is not bragging. I'm using it to illustrate a point. Every little thing you do matters. All right, guys, I'm 12 days away from the ride. I'm hoping to get my frame taken care of here in the next day or two. God, I hope so. If not, I may have to move the ride back a day, a week, maybe 10 days. I'm hoping that's not the case. But that's where I'm at. So the can saga is over. I'm Michael. This is Resolve Life Training.